Um, so a, a video came out today. I was sitting at my table with uh, Cecil drinking. Um, we were having a good ass time. And I noticed I had like five DMs, DM requests. And I also had a bunch of tags on Twitter of people yelling at me and calling me a liar. Some weird shit. Um, and it's uh, it's about this two or three month old thing that's so in passing and irrelevant. It's the weirdest shit ever. And I want to uh, put a disclaimer out there before I even start that um, I love Nina. And I think Nina, I think the world of Nina, she's the one of the nicest women I've ever met. She's welcoming. She's awesome. Um, and I, even right now, I have no problem with her at all. Hi everyone, this is Nina Infinity, and uh, I am making a video about something that I really wish I didn't have to make a video on because honestly, this is one of the most annoying things that I've had to deal with in my entire career as a YouTuber. It's been a very strange circumstance to navigate. I have basically at my wits end at, as to what to do. And so the only way that I can think of that would put this matter to bed and also make it more clear than ever to anyone that I don't have anything to do with this and that this did not come from me is to make this video and talk to you face to face. Uh, so you can hear me and my words and see my face so that you, you know that this did not originate from me. And that is the rumor of the sex pest, okay? So I'm gonna tell you what happened. I went to Anna's wedding in February, it was lovely. I met several people there. They were all very lovely people. And we had some discussions, private discussions that should have stayed private. One of these discussions was about my time at the Real BBC and the feud, the ongoing, immature, childish, weird feud between Comicsgate and the FNT crowd, who I used to be hanging out with as Gary and Mahler on The Real BBC. The only thing that was discussed was a private matter about how they don't like each other. Surprise, that was pretty much it. As if that's shocking to anybody by now that those people don't like each other. Big fucking deal. Nothing was said about a sex pest. And now here we are. It is now April 18th, and, and I have to, again, make another statement about this situation because somebody who was present at that party decided to take it upon himself to go and share a private conversation and then mess up the details and just make shit up. And that person is Camelot. So if you're part of any of these groups and you're annoyed about what is going on, it all originates with Camelot's video about what happened at Anna's wedding. Once he made that video about something that was said privately, he talked about my story, and then he talked about somebody else's story, and then he somehow decided to portray it as if I was the one saying that there was a sex pest in these spheres. That, that's kind of what I'm saying. You'll meet people like that, and then you'll meet people on the opposite of... When you don't have something that's beneficial, they, they're they like, fuck off, don't care about you. Get out of my face. I know there's people like that. There's people that, I can't give names, but one of, my, one of the people that was at the wedding told me about how they used to be on a show, like a weekly show, I think. And the leader of that show violently kicked them off the show for just being friends- just being friends with somebody and screamed at them like an infantile baby screamed at them over it because they were friends with someone that occupies some niche that they don't like. It's crazy. It's crazy. And I don't like that person. Look, I generally like almost everybody in the spectrum. That person is a infantile bitch, a pathetic bitch. And I'll say it to their face in public. You are a bitch. And they'll start crying and back down. Bitch. Don't like people like that. You're not allowed to associate with somebody I don't like. Me. Grow up. This isn't middle school. You're in your 30s. Grow up. Please. It's pretty easy. Pretty easy. It's a male. Of course it's a male. Of course it is. We we expect women to do that. We don't expect full grown men to be like, I don't like that you're friends with a person. Probably because they wanted to have sex with them. Let's be honest. 
the person I'm talking about is all in the replies of every female like that's in their genre or niche trying to oh trying to have sex with them every one of them, every girl I've seen, oh, trying to have sex with them because they can't have sex with people in real life because they look like a melting freaking monster snowman so i get it but yeah work on yourself grow up i appreciate that i appreciate that man i love you i appreciate you i can't name the person absinthe minded because the 20 people that are connected through like having to be because they work with the same people will hate me over it. And I can't do that because I like half these people and I know how they operate. You know, they're going to choose this uh, gross freaking effeminate bastard over me any day of the week because he's entwined with everything. So I'm not going to name anybody. I just know the story and I think it's cringe. Cringe. I can dude. I can read people like a book because I used to be that guy. Those people that scream effeminate, yell at people because they mention another male streamer in their space. You can tell immediately these creators that are trying to use their clout to have sex with any woman possible in the, in the creation spectrum. And it's always the grossest dudes, the gross, like obviously, right? You can look at a stream of one of those big ass shows and find the person immediately that that is the, that's that guy that's trying to use their clout to have sex with anybody they can. Because obviously that's the only opportunity they'll ever have. And they get real, real jealous really fast when they talk about another male in their presence. Start screaming like a little baby. Psycho shit. It's gross. It's gross. Um, but since everybody's apparently naming names, even though I never did at all, and I said something in passing on a stream three months ago. Um, basically, it was what this is what I said. Um, I said... I had a conversation with a friend at a wedding and this friend was working with these people and then is now not working with these people. And, um, all like in a completely other vein, I noticed this person is always in like the, the comments and replies of somebody and they're being really creepy about it. Um, and I never named any names and that was the end of it for me. I never spoke about it again. Um, and now we are, here we are three months later and people have all these names, like somehow Tom Connors got brought into it and I don't know anything. I don't even know what that means. I don't even know what that is. Um, I like Tom. Um, and there's all these different al like allegations and there's all these different names being named. And, uh, I said something in passing and I don't know why it's like, you know, all like coming to a head. Um, like I said, I have a lot of shit in real life going on right now. Um, that I have to really focus on. So I don't, it, I don't really understand. I just think it's kind of, there, there's a very weird aura and like big, massive kind of drama thing going on between two different groups right now. Um, and I don't dislike anybody in it. So I think it just came to a head and I said something like, I said like a melting snowman and now everybody has like five people in their mind. Um, I love Nina. Um, I love Tom. I love EVS, love all these people. I have no problems with these people at all. And I'm imagining that Nina just wants to get out from under this bullshit. And I totally get it. And her throwing me under the bus is totally fine. Um, she, I, I am probably the best person to throw under the bus because I don't really mind. It's fine. Uh, I'm racing and doing shit right now. I can't really, I don't, I'm not worried about all this. Um, so just want to put that out there that I love, uh, or I love, yeah, I do love Anna. <laughs> so, no, but I love Nina. Um, so that, that's bar none. I don't really care what happened or what is said. I love Nina. Um, people that like saying that I dragged her into it. Never mentioned anybody's name. The uh, people that dragged her into it was people in the chat and people that speculated. I can't give names, but one of my one of the people that was at the wedding told me about how they used to be on a show, like a weekly show, I think, and mm. the leader of that show violently kicked them off the show for just being friends just being friends with somebody that's yellow flash and screamed at them like an infantile baby screamed at them over it because they were friends with someone you, that's that yellow flash that did that some niche that they don't like maybe could be as i don't know it's crazy it's crazy and i don't like that person look i generally like almost everybody in the spectrum that person is a infantile bitch I DM'd him Pathetic a couple of times. He won't reply. Bitch. Uh, it could have been Yellow Flash. People are saying it could be uh, Az and Nina. It mm. could be. Who knows, man? All of these guys are kind of, you know, 
uh, not cool. Nina was there at the wedding, so it could have been Nina that was talking to him. But Nina was on. Was Nina on Yellow Flash too? I think she was. Uh, so who knows? All right. So uh, here we go. I, I personally don't like. I used to like Yellow Flash, but like he turned on me, and I didn't even give him a reason to. And to me, that like changed. Like uh, I mean. You know, you could sit there and say, well, the geeks and gamers crowd, neurotic crowd, they're mad at you for getting high and calling them zeros. And I go, well, that's fair, I guess. It's not, it shouldn't be like this, but uh, that's cool. Yellow Flash, I did nothing to. Yeah. Absolutely nothing to. Oh, uh, by the way, look- petty. that's pretty small. <laughs> calling them zeros. I mean, it's kind of funny, but that's really small and dumb to get like poopy pants about. Well, it wasn't even all of them. I just said they're you're surrounded by zeros who are just leeching off your clout. And uh, I think that's true. I'm pretty sure that's true. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, uh, I don't know. It'd be hard to well, disagree with them. It. Yeah. Anyway. Or a bitch. And they'll start crying and back down. Bitch. Hmm. Don't like people like that. You're not allowed to associate with somebody I don't like. Me. Wow. Grow up. This isn't middle school. You're in your 30s. Grow up. In your 30s? Please. Wait, who's in their 30s? Is that Flash? How old is Az? Um, you, we're, putting, like we're putting clues together here, you know. It's like it's a red yeah, it's very silly. Um. Yeah, weird. Um. Yeah, yellow Flash, man. These guys, again, like Yellow Flash reached out to me and he said, you're associating with some really shitty people. I said, what? Who? He's like Vito and Dick Masterson and Nick Rick- Uh, Bro, you know, it's like when you're saying you're associating with shitty people, it's so weird, man. I just, I can't get away from this. Just leave mm-hmm. me alone. <laughs> Fucking leave me alone, dude. I can't take it. It's like this whole thing about shitty people. Uh, I associate with people who I think are smart and funny. Those are the people who I want to associate. Wow, look at Camel putting up the $100 Super Chats. I associate with people who are smart and funny. That's all it is. That's what I like. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, it's like when you're dumb and not funny. I I, I mean, I, I'll try to be your friend, but I feel sorry for you. Yellow Flash is dumb and unfunny. He's not funny and he's stupid. And I mean, I don't say that like, oh, I'm, I'm to be mean to him. He just is not smart. He's low IQ. And he's never made me laugh, not even once. So uh, on the other hand, somebody like Dick Masterson, who I've only spoken to once. Mm-hmm. I, I was on his show once because they uh, they invited me on. Uh, and it's like they invite me on. People, I get invited on people's shows all the time. I'm now associating with him. And by the way, he's really funny. Like, he's actually funny and smart. Yeah, yeah he's so it's cracking, like, yeah. Oh, what the fuck? Uh, you have to associate with slow, dumb people who aren't funny. Uh, because these guys are shitty people because they correctly identify that people like Yellow Flash are retards. I mean, I don't. what am I supposed to do at that point? I got to go with the smart people. <laughs> I got to. I got to. That's why I hang out with Shane and John. You know, those guys are smart and they're funny. Man, it sucks. It's pretty easy. Pretty easy. It's a male. Of course it's a male. Of course it is. It's a tough life. We're, we Being expect women to do that. We don't expect... <laughs> Full grown men to be like, I don't like that you're friends with a person. Yeah. Why? Because they wanted to have sex with them. Let's be honest. The person I'm talking about is all in the replies of every female like that's in their genre or niche, trying to oh, trying to have sex with them. Every one of every girl. Oh, Wait, what's the penis them. thing? Because they can't have sex with people in real life because they look like a melting freaking monster snowman. It's so ass. Get- oh my god! Oh, you're talking about ass. Um, but no, um, uh, no one knows actually because me and Nina and Cecil and Anna, we're all real people and we're friends in real life. Um, so the day that I said that, like an hour after, uh, me and Nina messaged each other through chat, we talked about it and we, I privatized everything just so there was no speculation. And we like me and Nina are good friends. We love each other. We've hung out in real life. Um, and that was the end of it. But for some reason, three three months later, everybody's fucking pissed again. And it's silly. Um, hence why I uh, don't really like the internet's not a real place. I got too much going on. We're we're gonna be we're going to Talladega tomorrow morning. 
practice and we have a race Saturday. It's my first holiday race. Um, so no, but as far as I'm concerned, um, that's the end of that for me. I love Nina. So I don't really care about anything else. It's, you know, whatever. I just said a thing. I just said a thing that was said to me and they gave no names. And now everybody's like, Oh, you were too vague. Now you got to say it. No, I ain't got to say shit. Okay. None of you are my parents. Um, you know, <laughs> so that's the end of it for me. I ain't got to say shit to nobody about nothing. Um, I ain't part of your parasocial drama bullshit that you get like you come off of when you watch it. I know and this people act like they're mad and they're offended over whatever who wrong to. No, you're not. You you come off this shit every time there's some kind of drama thing. You guys come off of it, you watch it, you follow it, you're so excited to hear about it. This is this fake, like I'm so concerned. You're not fucking concerned. You love this shit. You struck your cock to it. I get it. I, if you have nothing going on in your life, you, <laughs> you stroke your cock to it. Is that what you just? <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Um, Billy said. Billy Hatcher says, "Would you be able to get Nina back on the show?" A hundred percent. Yes. I, regardless of or not of her video, uh, people take this stuff way too seriously. And I'm not talking about Nina. I'm talking about people in the chat, people in the comments. Nina's good people. I can message her right now and talk to her. The, the, People just take internet drama like really. They think when people say anything about anybody, they it's like war, and it's really not. Um, you know, like for example, R Rich Review Tech has said some crazy shit about me, and I'm sure I could text him right now, and he'd be like, "What's up?" You know what I'm saying? So people, I just think people treat it like middle school, and uh, they are, they just spend a little too much time online. I would urge people to go watch the clip from it. Uh, I think people are watching a video or like watching a stream or like reading a tweet and assuming shit. I said like a seven second thing, man, um, like three months ago. And for some reason it's come back and there's like all these people that are involved and I don't even know half of them. That, that right there shows you it's a little too parasocial and wild and people are enjoying this a little too much. Like the drama stuff. It's a little too, it's a little too, people like it, like it a little too much. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Brandon said you did say Nina's name with no one else's. I am quite positive I did not say Nina's name. That is just what was said in her video. I, I can get, pull up the clip and DM it to me and show me where I said Nina's name. I said I talked to a friend at a wedding. That was the entire, you're watching a different thing and then saying I said it. That's what I'm saying. But this is why this whole internet thing is like, you can't follow it. You can never follow any of this because people just say a thing and then they say a thing. And then it's, it's like when you're a kid and you play the telephone game in kindergarten. And once you get to the 10th person, the story's change. That's where we're at. I was, it, it was also a trick statement. I was at that wedding and Cody has no friends. That is true. I was alone the whole fucking time by myself. No one wanted to talk to me. What's your honest take on the EBS and Eric drama? I don't know. Um, I think... I like both the dudes, you know, um, that's why it's like sticky, you know, it's hard to get involved. Um, and also if you don't condemn one, the other will hate you. That's kind of how this always would work. Um, but what I think it is, is EBS is getting record viewers, record Twitter engagement by just like, like just trolling. That's it. That's all he's doing. I mean, look, I, I know Ethan and I know um, I know Ethan and I, I know how he operates because I kind of we have a very similar personality, I feel like. And he's just like like LOL trolling. That's all he's doing. And people are taking it so serious, which just feeds into it more. And it also gives him record viewership and record super chats and record everything. You can't argue with that. Right? Are you gonna throw all that away? No, no, of course not. So that's what's going on. Um, if the people that he was trolling, uh, like ignored it forever, it, he wouldn't do it anymore. Well, in the replies of every female, like that's in their genre or niche, trying to oh, trying to have sex with them, every one of every girl. Oh, Wait, what's the penis thing? Because they can't have sex with people in real life because they look like a melting freaking monster snowman. It's like ass. It. Oh my god! Oh, You're talking about ass. Yeah, I think Ethan's hilarious. Uh, I think he's trolling at some point and funny. Um, it sucks that involve it involves people I like. So Ethan's never been anything but nice to me. So I can't, I can't swear people off to form allegiances because I'm not 13 years old. It's just not how I operate, you know. Um, if people were like, you can't talk to Ethan. 
or else we don't like you. I'm going to be like, well, fuck, I guess you don't like me. He's always been nice to me. So that's kind of where it, all, it ends for me. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 